just a quick overview of Prince 2 and quality. So when we say quality, what do we mean? All right, so when we're coming at it with our Prince 2 head on, what we're saying is we're going to say what we want, we're going to check that we're getting it, and at the end, we're going to confirm it. And anybody that's familiar with Prince 2, and if you finish the course, you will be, you'll realise that Prince 2 is very, very big on quality. And there's an awful lot of paraphernalia within the Prince 2 course and vocabulary that's linked back to this. And the basis of that thinking is that if you get things right the first time, it's actually a lot cheaper than rectifying things that don't work. All right, that's the whole thing. Get it right first time and it will be cheaper. So that's the premise of where Prince 2 is coming from. So the three ways of looking at it is number one, the customers have to say what they want. Now we know a huge source of failed projects is poor requirements. Now strangely for some people, including me, Prince 2 doesn't technically cover requirements because it's making an assumption that these requirements have been developed before you kick off the Prince 2 project. All right, so that's an important thing to remember. Prince 2 expects the requirements to have been in place before the project starts, which is why it isn't covered in the project life cycle. All right, so the project say what the project customers say what they want, and they're called requirements. What the project does is it takes those requirements and builds them into a quality management environment where they create things called product descriptions. Now, product descriptions are detailed explanations of what the end game for each of the requirements is. Yeah, so if we've got a requirement for a car, the product description will say this car will have four wheels, this size of engine, take this many people out, this level of functionality. And as part of putting that product description together, it also puts in there an acceptance criteria. And it writes that at the start during the initiation phase so that when the project is, project is delivered by the supplier, there is a way of independently verifying that we've got what we asked for. And then finally, we've got the role of the customer signing it off. Now the customer will have signed off their requirements. They will have then signed off that the product description will meet their requirements. And then at the end, they sign off that they've got them. Okay, so that's the basic idea behind Prince 2 quality. When you get into the manual, there's a whole load of um, uh, stuff in there. But try and remember that. The customer says what they want, the project writes it into a product description, and then it's verified at the end to prove that we've got what we asked for. All right? Okay, off you go with the course, or if you're just watching the video, hopefully it's useful.